I'm not even sure if that was your question or not. Yeah. First impressions, first impressions. Big, big heart, massive heart, huge heart. Is that the right side? It's your titty. Yeah, and then the frame, it's just his legs sticking up. I have no idea how to tell this story. I don't even know how to start it. This is the story of my senior year of high school and how it destroyed my life. Life can keep unfolding itself to you just as long as you pay attention to it. It was the best of times. <sighs> Worst of times. It was so much harder than I thought it would be. It was life. Um, congratulations <laughs> on a fantastic film. Um, the grown man behind me both hysterically wept and laughed at the same time. Oh, good. Which is good. <laughs> um, what was the biggest challenge for each of you coming into this film? Well, I never really... Uh, I wasn't even sure, even after I got the part, that I was going to be able to deliver, like, on the really emotional scenes and these emotional beats, and just because I'd never really been asked to do that before in a film. I'd never had that opportunity. I never had such a great role, and... Uh, so I really discovered a lot about myself as an, as an actor. I think the toughest was, um, you know, finding the balance with Rachel of, of playing, you know, the illness and but also not seeing her as a tragic character or a victim and trying to find that balance without coming across as, um, as, as phony, although like I was phoning it in at any point. Mine was really be reaching those emotional peaks that were needed, you know from my character, because um, I'm, I'm not emotional, and I don't go there, you know, personally. And so to, to reach those moments and explore who RJ could become if he was emotional, that was my biggest challenge of it. What is it about this story that made you want to be a part of it? I thought it was a very honest portrayal of adolescence, and I think those high school years stay with us forever and um, I think we could all relate to those years as being some of the hardest of our lives. No matter if you're 40 or 17 or you're in the, you're, if you're in the thick of it and I love Jesse's character so much and I love I really identify with Greg and his kind of emotional journey throughout the movie and I wanted to be a part of that. And I love the, the idea or the uh, message that you kind of never stop learning about somebody no matter what. And what were your first impressions of each other and then what's something surprising you might have learned about each other by the end of the oh. filming? First impressions, first impressions. Well you were quite shy and you were quite nervous and so you were on your phone. Yeah. That was the first impression. I was like, oh Absolutely. he's a bit antisocial. Yeah. But then he's the most social. Yeah, person, yeah. you are the most social person, and big, big heart, massive heart, huge heart. Aww. Aww. Is that the right side? Yeah, it's yeah. the right side. Okay. <laughs> it's your teddy. You know, uh, I don't know, like, yeah, Olivia. I mean, we were, we knew each other yeah. since like the f first very. audition. I don't know. She's like were... very. I thought. I don't know. I thought yeah. you were very cool. And you still are cool. It's Thanks. not. Yeah, I feel like you're you were like confident then and cool, and now you're still like now you're even more confident. I don't think. Yeah, I don't. Th I think we have remained quite consistent. I think we're both like pretty other. honest people. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'll say it. Like <laughs> they they're TV shows and movies to judge off of. So I was like, okay, Olivia is very soft spoken and a very quiet girl. Then I meet her and she's just like, hey, RJ. I'm like, oh. Switch up. She's like, a good actor. Yeah. You know, I thought Thomas was like, well, dude, Thomas. You're stoned. You thought Thomas was stoned. <laughs> I did. It's all that project that stuff. I was stoned when I met you. <laughs> I did. But he was just like, no, what's up? I'm Thomas. Oh, you're normal. Okay. Okay, nice. <laughs> Such an amazing cast of both mm -hmm. young actors and older actors. What was it like putting them together and working with all of oh, them? It's beautiful. I mean, they, they were all. Uh, we were very lucky that they all said yes. There was a lot of thought that went into the casting of the three kids, and Olivia came first, Thomas, then RJ, then finding the right parents for them. They all wanted to be a part of it. It's a little movie, it's not like this major payday or anything. Everyone loved the script and wanted to be a part of this movie. And we didn't have trailers, or everybody was just living together, and, and it was a very intimate set. And we had the adults in waves. Uh, one week were Connie and Nick, the second week was John Bernthal, third week was Molly, and uh, so we had all these adults come and visit, but the three kids were, you know, the three kids uh, were the constant. Uh, but everyone, really, the, the idea was to create an atmosphere that was intimate and, and like, like, it felt like family, and it did. Came off on screen beautifully. Um, yeah, Connie you. would make yeah. us mint juleps after, oh, wrap. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it was that kind of a set. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. She's great. I love She's her. She's wonderful. Thank you.
this movie does have a lot of funny moments, but it's also very heavy. But I feel like every movie should have a blooper reel. So is there anything that funny that happened during filming that would yes. make so <laughs> many stuff? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, there was one day where um, we're in Mr. McCarthy's yeah. office and, and RJ is like leaning back in a chair and then one take he just goes <laughs> And his <laughs> legs just go down. Oh, his legs. <laughs> and, yeah, and then the frame is just his legs sticking up. And then all of Molly Shannon's stuff. All yeah. of Molly Shannon's all stuff. Of Molly yeah. Shannon's yeah. stuff. Yeah. So funny. Yeah, I don't well, know how y'all kept a straight face, so props mm. to you guys. Yeah, well, then oh. Nick with the cat, there's one, the cat wouldn't sit still. She's like trying to hold it and it's like crawling all over him. And he's got scratches, like he's literally started bleeding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scars from the movie. Remember yeah. forever. Yeah, um, well, congratulations. Thank, thank you. Fantastic thank movie. You, Hopefully you. everybody goes and sees it because they should. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Word. Is that a, a Black Power salute? No, I was going in for a fist bump. I can't fist bump you from up here. Yeah, no. I realize that. Oh my god, I can so. do this one so easy. Oh my god, look at that face. You look like my next mistake. Like before they cut, we're we break out in laughter. That's something that people don't know.